The Switch family hasn't changed since 2021, when Nintendo added a third console to it, the Nintendo Switch OLED model. And that console is likely to be the Switch 2. The Switch 2 will come with improvements across the board, and surely a new Mario game, and could be one of the most powerful handheld consoles when released. In this video we will take a brief look at what has been revealed about this console so far. While rumors previously suggested that the Switch 2 would use an upgraded Tegra X1 Plus processor, as found in the Switch Lite, it is now thought a new NVIDIA chipset with DLSS technology could be utilized instead. Also, it has been revealed that Switch Pro will be able to offer native 1440p resolution and upscale to 4K through NVIDIA's DLSS 2.0 technology. It's also expected to see DDR5 RAM on board the new Switch 2, which should give an enormous boost to overall performance. The RAM, it said, will be 8GB, double that in the current console and we don't expect anything more than 16GB. The processing power of the current Nintendo console is about 1.3 teraflops. If Nintendo Switch 2 wants to be able to run games in higher resolutions and with better frame rates and also be able to compete with other handheld consoles in the market such as Asus Raj Alley and Steam Deck, it must have a graphics processing power of 9 to 10 provide teraflops. This means, the new console needs hardware about 8 times more powerful than the old one. In this way, it is expected that the processing power of the new Nintendo console will be close to or slightly better than the processing power of the PlayStation 4 Pro console or the Xbox Series S. The onboard storage will get a major hike to 128GB. The standard Switch only has 32GB of storage and almost demands that you buy a micro SD card if you want to store more than one game. However, it is expected that Nintendo will offer the console with 256GB and 512GB internal memories. There is no good news about the display. It is expected to have a similar 720p display resolution and could well pack the exact same upgraded OLED display that the Switch OLED debuted. However, it seems that, in order to keep the console's costs down, it could ship with an LCD screen instead of this OLED option. A 4K resolution will likely be reserved for connection to a TV, with higher resolution processing possibly performed through the dock itself. We don't know yet, but there's a high possibility that Nintendo Switch 2 will play all existing and future Switch games, there could be some new titles that will exclusively run on the new console. To see what other games will work on Nintendo Switch 2, you only need to look at the upcoming schedule of Switch titles like Sea of Stars, Mortal Kombat 1, Detective Pikachu Returns, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, Hogwarts Legacy and Super Mario RPG. We expect the Nintendo Switch 2 to release after April 2024. As of today, there's no actual release date for the console. This is apparently a conservative decision to ensure that Nintendo avoids the sort of immediate stock shortages that hamstrung sales of the PS5 and Xbox Series 10 when they both launched. Based on the reviewed hardware specifications, we don't expect the new Nintendo console to be priced at the same price as the Asus Raj Alley, but it seems to be priced closer to the Steam Deck. Therefore, it is expected that the price of Nintendo Switch 2 will be around $400. As explained, it's still early days on these Switch 2 rumors, with not a lot of hard and fast information floating around. Nintendo is famously tight-lipped about what it's working on, so we can't expect to see a myriad of leaks anytime soon. But the time is arguably nigh for a new and more powerful Switch or overall Nintendo console. And the Nintendo Switch 2 could be the answer. 